Right, hello. Um, I'm going to show you how to fit these universal seat armrests to a uh, 2013 Mercedes Sprinter driver's seat. Show you. These are the cheap Chinese armrests off eBay. 30 quid for a pair. Come with the fitting bolts, trims, everything you need. Obviously, left and right armrests. So, first things first, move the seat forward and adjust the backrest forward. It gives a bit more space around the back. What we're going to do is lift this cover up so that we can get inside to the frame to bolt this mounting piece onto the frame in there. So the armor sits like that. So with the seat tilted forward, we need to unclip this cover. There's a plastic strip along here that unclips. Cover lifts up plenty high enough to access. There's actually a cutout where the standard armrest would go. So here it is with the cover lifted up. It'll only go so far because it's clipped in. But as you can see, there's a cutout where the standard fit armrest would go. So that's roughly where we need to try and mount the try and mount this into the frame there. So we need to take this armrest apart, which is just this Allen head bolt here or stud. And we can pull the mount part out. If we poke this piece of foam out, that wants to be mounted somewhere there. Like so. So then we're going to need to mark up where we need to drill some holes to put the bolts in to bolt that in place so use a paint pen to mark where I need to drill the holes but remember that this um, hole through the mount needs to be um, as upright as possible so that when the armrest is in the upright position it's not like leaning over the seat and it stows away nicely. So I'm going to use a step drill. I'll drill out two 8mm holes where they are and uh, bolt that into position. Do the same on the other side. Then uh, put the foam back over and then pull the seat cover down. Right, I'll show you in a second. So that's the 8mm holes drilled. I'm using the bolts that came with the kit. I'm adding washers because there's a lot of movement in the holes and I'm using uh, nylock nuts rather than the standard nuts that it comes with. 
just so they don't vibrate loose obviously bolt that in there and here's the mount bolted up weirdly these um, Chinese M8 bolts are a 12mm head rather than a 13mm head but anyway there's a nylock nut and washer on the back side so now all we're going to do is refit the foam like so obviously I'll do the same on the other side but then we'll pull this cover down cut a hole in the cover and fit the armrest to the mount itself so same again on the left hand side that's the armrest mount fitted the foam pulled back over now I've just got to pull the cover down which I need two hands for pull the cover down, clip it all back together and then cut the hole for this in the side of the cover ok that's the seat cover clip back on you definitely need two hands for pulling that round nice and tight as you can see there's the mounts just take a sharp knife put a cross in it feed it through fit the armrest and then we have the cover refitted just cut a cross in the cover so it fits nice and tight around that mount and then the armrest slots on and this screws into the thread in the mount and there it is fitted that's the it's a 6mm allen key stud there it is upright and obviously you've got adjustment to adjust the height and angle and there is a trim cover to slot in just like that so there we go, fully fitted as you see they stow up out of the way fit quite nice, these are the uh, cheap eBay universal car seat armrests I think it was £32 delivered um, and they're not bad, not bad quality padded obviously you've got your adjustment down here so you can adjust the height it's at in the down position and then you fold up out of the way and they don't look out of place it's plain black anyone that knows sprinters knows that the uh, genuine driver seat with armrest fitted go for quite silly money and these for 32 quid in an hour's work nice fit